Hey everybody, this morning we began with daily mass opening the churches after being off for 10 weeks because of the coronavirus. And it was really good to see the morning mass crowd. It's hard to believe that it's been since the beginning of March since we were all together. This coming weekend, we will now begin to open up the church for weekend masses uh, during the yellow phase. And so I just thought maybe it might help to run through some of the procedures and the guidelines that we have to follow as described by the Center for Disease Control, the Pennsylvania Department of Health, and our own Diocese of Allentown, in addition to some of our own thoughts and preferences that we have here to make things safe for you at St. Clair Vesizzi. Until we find a vaccine for the coronavirus, we still are all very prone to contracting this highly contagious disease. And we still need to wear masks uh, because that's how the disease is spread uh, through vapor particles that come out of one's nose, one's mouth, water particles. Uh, it's also on our hands and when we touch things, uh, the coronavirus is a very sticky virus. It's a fatty virus, so it clings to things. So it becomes problematic there. So during this yellow phase, we're allowed to open up for church, but we still need to take a lot of precautions. And because of that, once again, as I said, it would be helpful for us to try to review them. We are going to open with our usual weekend Mass schedule. Four o'clock Mass will be, however, up at Queen of the Universe Cemetery. Uh, mass will be at the standard time of four o'clock. And we did a video on this, which you can also check out if you decide that you would like to go to the Queen out in the fresh air. There will be certain limitations and things that uh, we can do with the Queen uh, that you should know about and um, just please check that video out and if you have any other questions call the rectory. Today we want to focus on coming to Mass here uh, in church and um, our weekend Mass schedule for Sunday will be our normal 830 and our normal 1030 Mass. However, the doors of the church will not open until a half hour before Mass. So that's 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. The only door to enter into church will be the double doors on uh, Mill Street. All the other doors will be locked. When you come up to the doors, someone will be there to uh, take your temperature, maybe ask a couple questions, and someone else to make sure that we maintain the amount of people that we are allowed to have during this yellow phase, which is 112 people. So this is 112 individuals, you know, it, that 112 can include families. It all depends upon how the seating arrangements go. So what we'd like to do now is we'd like just to walk you through how to come to church this weekend and we're just so happy to welcome you back and to see you. Hopefully, uh, during the course of the week, too, we'll have a, a message which will help get us spiritually ready for church, too. So God bless you, and I look forward to seeing you on the weekend. When you arrive at church for either the 8.30 or the 10.30 Mass, one half hour beforehand, before you are allowed to enter church, one of our parish volunteers will screen you for your temperature. If there is no temperature, more than likely, the person will say, have you been sick at all this weekend? And after the person says no, they will be admitted to find a pew in church. If, however, we do not know who the person is, as sometimes we do get guests here at St. Clair of Assisi, the screener might be asking some other questions. Where did you come from? Uh, has there been anybody sick in your family? Have you, have you been sick? Have you shown any of the symptoms of coronavirus? This is for the protection not only of yourself, but everyone. The person coming to church 
must also bring their own mask. No masks will be provided by the parish. Also standing at the door will be another parish volunteer, and both of them will be in the proper PPE, mask and gloves. Uh, they will uh, be standing close by to also count how many people come to church. We strictly are only allowed to accept 112 people. That will include individuals and family. On each of our church doors, there will be a poster which will give you church etiquette for here at St. Can uh, Clair of Assisi. It will explain all the vital things, the number of people that can enter church, about sanitizing, about wearing a mask, about social distancing, how the collection will be taken up, and also sanitizing the pews. On the doors also will be some other public service announcements, such as how many people are allowed to sit in the church, which have been issued to us by the diocese based upon the standard uh, that has been put out by the state government. There will also be another sign on the door in large print which says, please do not open the door to let anyone into the church. So in the event that you are sitting in one of the first pews close to any of the side doors or the door in the back of the church after they've been locked, if someone begins to bang on the door, do not let them in. Get up to answer the door. Please do not do what this lady just did and open the door for that person. Okay. After being admitted to the church, please go to where the pews will allow you to sit. We have already placed ribbons on every other pew to maintain the proper social distancing which should be a minimum of six feet. As you can see, we already are more than six feet apart in this particular pew. So in the event that there are three individuals, one person on either end and one person in the middle. In the occasion that you might be attending church as a family, then it would be permissible for you to all sit together. This way, we will be ensured of having our total seating capacity of 112 people to accommodate the Sunday Mass crowd. We ask that the family enter together as a group. So why it might be nice for Dad to drop you off and then he walks up after parking the car until we go back to the green face. Please wait for dad outside on the porch or all walk up together when the weather is nice. Also, it is not permissible to arrive at church and say, would you please let my son or my daughter or my grandchildren in to sit with me? I will save the pew. That is not permitted because we don't know if they're going to make it or not. And it's not fair to other people who were there before them. So we ask you, please, once again, as a family, you can certainly sit together. And as you can see by the length of the pew, we can have a family of four, five, or even six. And one lone person at the end of the pew to socially distance. The 112 seating capacity came up with the fact that the body of the church, St. Clair of Assisi, holds 450 people. The state will allow us 25% of that, which is 112 people. During this time, no one is allowed in the choir loft except the organist and the cantor. So the choir loft is off limits. There will be a seating, there will be a separation between everyone in the pew.
We will begin with Mass. There will be no altar servers. There will be no Eucharistic ministers. Only the lector. When the lector comes up to proclaim the readings, he or she is permitted to take their mask off. People in the main body of the church must leave their mask on. When the person is done, the priest will come and proclaim the gospel and then also give a very brief homily. Holy Communion will be distributed at the end of Mass and then you will be free to exit the church after you decide to receive Holy Communion. Let's just take a moment and talk about the reception of Holy Communion. The coronavirus lives in one's mouth and in one's nasal and sinus passages. Therefore, our saliva, our nasal mucus, these all become carriers to contaminate or become contagious for other people. So that is the purpose for the mask. Wearing the mask is to protect others from maybe water droplets if you would sneeze or if you would cough. Coronavirus also is a greasy type of virus which likes to cling to things. Therefore, frequent hand washing is necessary since its oily base will work with the oil in your hands. Please bring a little bottle of hand sanitizer to church. Make sure your hands are thoroughly washed. Maybe before you go to Holy Communion that you put a little bit of hand sanitizer on your hands. As your pastor, for my protection, I am asking that everyone receive Holy Communion in the hand until we go to the green face. I would ask you please, in the proper fashion, to receive Holy Communion in the hand. So if you are left-handed, as I am, your right hand becomes a throne and you put your left hand, or your, 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 your right hand becomes a throne, and you put your left hand underneath it. The priest will say, Body of Christ, and with hopefully without having to touch your skin, will allow you then to come with your left hand and give yourself Holy Communion. If necessary, the priest will sanitize his fingers after everyone receives Holy Communion for his safety, for your safety. If you insist that you must receive Holy Communion on the tongue, please open your mouth wide and stick your tongue out far so once again the priest does not come in touch with your tongue or any of your saliva. This is for your safety and the safety of the priest. At the end of Holy Communion, after you receive Holy Communion, you may exit out the sides or out the front. In the main aisle are socially distant markings so that everyone remains six feet. We had mentioned once before that your patience is most needed at this time. Mass will be different until we enter the green phase. So please, if you're an impatient person, if you get angry easily, if you get frustrated, come to one of the daily Masses Tuesday through Friday at 8 o'clock in the morning, whereby you can receive the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament with a smaller crowd. The obligation for Sunday Mass is still lifted until we go into the green phase. Communion will take a lot longer here than it did in the past. Just as Mass at Queen of the Universe will take a while because of the distance that people need to walk from their cars over to St. Joseph's and the St. Joseph's statue. And also, as I give you Holy Communion, car by car, as you depart. 
We hope this public service announcement helps you understand better what we need to do to protect you. At the conclusion of each of the Masses on Sunday, we need eight people that would be willing to wipe down the pews and any surfaces that were touched by other people in the event that to uh, sanitize them, to decontaminate them. So we hope that we get cooperation from everyone to help wipe down the pews, wipe down the door handles, the lit, uh, lit handicap lift. This is for your safety and the safety of others. Also, those of you that would like to light a candle, we will have a candle attendant who will be a basket for you to put your money in the basket. You tell them how many candles you want and the candle attendant will light the candle for you. Also, if you desire holy water, the candle attendant will take care of the holy water to avoid having you touching anything in the church. So, with these little reminders, we look forward to seeing you this Sunday. We hope you have a great day. And in between now and Sunday, we will also have probably a little message that will be faith-filled and inspiring. Oh, one other quick commercial. Because of the fact that many people might be afraid to come to Mass, that's okay. We will still be taping Mass. However, we're going to change the schedule around, and Mass probably will not make the YouTube or the parish webpage until later in the afternoon, probably closer to supper. So if you're looking for Mass, please once again be patient and you may find it there. So with that in mind, I'd ask the girls to raise their right hands and say, Good morning, St. Clair of Assisi. Good morning, morning 